Welcome to another edition of SoCal Sense. I'm Jeff. This is two weeks worth of vlogs. This is everything I had to do in the last two weeks with fragrance, whether it was my fragrance of the day, me going to the mall, me experiencing new fragrances, some hot takes thrown in there. This was the last two weeks and this is vlog number nine. It's Monday, my fragrance of the day is Aventus Cologne. It's nice, compliment fuller, it's warm out today. Figured this was a nice little touch of getting into that warmer, fresher weather. So, Aventus Cologne. Tuesday, warm day in Los Angeles. I am running some errands and I decided to wear uh, Oligarch or Isla Blue by Raja Perfumes. Uh, it's the same fragrance, uh, they just rebranded it. But Isla Blue smells really, really good. And it's my fragrance of this day on this warm day in Los Angeles. My fragrance of the day today on, today is Wednesday, is uh, Vibrato by Suspiro. Now, this has gotten me so many compliments today. It's like unreal. Um, people are like, oh my gosh, you smell great. Like at least four or five different people told me I smelled amazing today, which is a rarity. You never get that many people thinking you smell good. So Suspiro Vibrato rocked for me today on Wednesday. It is Thursday, going to the mall. Fragrance of the day is Gucci Guilty Love, but I'm hoping to test out Polo 67, so that's what my main focus is as I head to the mall today. Polo 67, the newest from Ralph Lauren. This is a sporty fragrance. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of like a sporty uh, Ralph's Club a little bit. It is pineapple, bergamot, and vetiver. Um, it does kind of have like a bubblegum nuance to it. Uh, I've only had it on for like a minute, so. I'll keep on testing it throughout the day, but Polo 67 first impression is a good first impression to start off with. Polo 67 a little bit longer. It's kind of reminding me of like a sporty version of Rouse Club Eau de Parfum. Uh, it does kind of have this bubblegummy nuance to it. It's not overly fresh. I don't smell any pineapple in the fragrance, even a little bit. Um, I wish it was a touch fresher, but it is a nice fragrance. So Polo 67 is currently a like, not a love. Um, really good smelling fragrance. Uh, I think it's gonna work for a ton of people. If you want a good alternative or a couple of alternative suggestions to also try if you like this style fragrance, check out Myself by YSL. Check out one of the Born and Romas, specifically the original. Um, check out uh, Ralph's Club Eau de Parfum. It's a less sporty version of it. Uh, you could also check out like Prada Ocean. Uh, just something along the lines of that. It's nice and clean, like, not love, but a good smelling fragrance seven hours into wearing Polo 67. I can still smell it on my hand. Uh, still smells nice. Is it a love? No. Is it a like? Yes. Um, I think it's gonna work for a lot of people. Uh, definitely worth checking out, but look at this crazy sunset we got going in Los Angeles. You can't really see it, but it's like crazy pink. Anyways, Polo 67 solid release. Hey, my fragrance of the day is Torino 21 by Serjov. Lemon mint is basically what this fragrance is. It's a lemon minty fragrance. Uh, I've had the sample for a while, decided to test it out. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, I was supposed to film with a guest. I have everything all set up and then the guest canceled last minute, but still there'll be a new video this week. So if you're already watching this, you already have seen the new video. My fragrance of the day today is Bleecker Street by Bond Number no. 9. It's a gorgeous day in Los Angeles. I'm running some errands. But Bleecker Street is this like green, citrusy, fruity fragrance. It's nice, uh, definitely worth checking out. It's Monday. Saturday night, Luke, what fragrance are you wearing? Dark Rome, Malady Gawetz. I'm wearing 19 Degrees, Luke said I smell great. It smells fine. It does. Very, very like fruity, like the raspberry really kind of cuts through. It's nice. Yeah. Happy Easter everyone. My fragrance of the day is Myself by YSL. It's great, it smells like spring. It's a beautiful day in Los Angeles. So I decided to rock a beautiful spring style of fragrance with myself. If you haven't checked it out, definitely worth checking. I'm wearing myself by Saint Laurent. Luke, what you wearing? Jimmy Shoe Man, it's sense. Sean, what you wearing? Sun of Peace, Bond Number Nine. All right. It's Monday. My fragrance of the day is Mont Blanc Legend EDP. Hadn't worn in a while. It's nice. It has that sexy suede undertone that the original doesn't have and it's a good compliment puller and you can get it for under 40 bucks, so Mont Blanc legend. It's Tuesday, my fragrance of the day is Lacoste Lome Timeless. Now, this takes the original Lacoste Lome DNA with that rhubarb and amber cord. It freshens it up a bit, but makes it a lot more relaxing by adding a T note. The T note's really, really nice. So if you need a relaxing chill scent, this is fantastic. It's great for spring. You can pretty much wear this year round if you want to, but it's for those who particularly want a super relaxing smell. 
Prada Luna Rosa Ocean Parfum. It just came out. It is brand new to the stores. First day out. Uh, so this one definitely takes a different approach to the Ocean EDT. And Ocean EDP was very different than Ocean EDT. And then the Parfum version uses saffron and it kind of becomes this like lemon saffron and then dries down to this woody oak scent. It is nice, definitely feels more like a date night style of fragrance. Um, I'm wearing it out, I'll test it out throughout the day, but the very first impressions of Prada Ocean Parfum is solid, um, cozy date night, night out type of a vibe. Um, I think you'll dig this one. People have compared it to like Prada Black with a twist. I don't really get that. Um, I do like it. We'll test it out, see how it goes throughout the day though. Prada. Diesel D Red, the newest from the Diesel line, it smells really good. It's nice, fresh, clean, invigorating, good for the gym, good for office, school, work, etc. Um, it's going to be one of anyone who likes a nice, fresh scent. This is a good, going to be a good pickup for a lot of people. Jean Barbados uh, XX Intense, the newest one. It's got a really cool bottle. It's got that that red cracked black bottle look. If you like the original one, this is kind of a tweak on the original one. It's kind of that soft gourmandy fragrance. There is a coffee note in it. I'm not getting a crazy ton of coffee on it on the opening. Um, this is one that's going to be better use in the cooler months so i'm thinking fall winter and cooler spring but i enjoy this one so far in the opening especially if you like the original xx penguin blue label this is also brand new to macy's never tried a penguin fragrance before it just smells super clean this is to me honestly it's, it's going to be like a gym scent um but it's a good smelling one and if you were wearing it people think you smell fresh and clean around you and fresh and clean never goes out of style so this is my first experience with blue label by penguin so a little update on Ocean Le Parfum. So this fragrance is soft, and I mean soft, soft. It's super cuddly, but like, if you're looking for a big, bold fragrance, this is not gonna be a fragrance for you. It does smell nice. On the dry down, it definitely becomes more of an oak woody scent. Um, the lemon kind of disappears after the opening, but it is a soft fragrance. I wore it yesterday, couldn't smell it at all at the six hour mark. Um, I'm wearing it again today as my fragrance of the day. It's been on like two hours. I can still smell clearly in two hours, but it is definitely more of a skin scent, more of a cuddly scent. So if you know how Prada Black is more of that cuddly skin scent, this is gonna be along the same lines as that. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. It's not crazy strong, but it does smell nice. So definitely check out Ocean Le Parfum. It's Thursday night. My fragrance of the day has been Prada Ocean Eau de Parfum. I've been wearing the Parfum the last couple days, so I want to wear the Eau de Parfum. And you guys know how much I love the Eau de Toilette. All three of them are completely different fragrances. They don't smell the same, and the Eau de Toilette is still my favorite. Saturday, my fragrance of the day was Suspiro Vibrato in honor of the new release video that just came out today. If you're watching this in the future, watch this weekend's video. It's about Vibrato. Anyways, it's like 16 hours. I can actually still smell it on. Sunday, my fragrance of the day is Sadly by Parfum Smarly. I haven't worn it in a bit. It smells like a fancy Sprite soda to me. It's nice. I figured I'd rock it. Look how beautiful it is outside. It's like high 60s, light breeze. Thank you guys for watching this week. I had a lot of different fragrances I wore this week. I tested a lot of new out and I wore so much Prada Ocean, especially the Parfum version because I really wanted to give you guys a good impression of the perfume version of how it wears on me and all that stuff. It's a nice smelling fragrance, but it's definitely more of a cuddly skin scent. And with that being said, Prada Black is better between that one, but it does smell nice. Um, on Friday, I didn't make a video of it, but I wore uh, the one and only vibrato. And what else have I worn this week? Um, that was probably it. Honestly, Vibrato was probably the shining superstar for me this week. It gave me a ton, a ton of compliments. Um, and I didn't get any compliments when I wore Ocean Parfum. So in case you're curious, I didn't get a single one. I was around people, but not like around, around people. And yeah, that's it for that's this it week. For so uh, let me know what you guys have been wearing the last two weeks and leave a comment below. Thanks guys. Thank you.